Did you know that in the last few months, generative AI has seen more innovations than any other domain has seen in years? AI, but what they With don't talk about is all of the white collar work that AI is going to do. If you blink, you might miss on the next big breakthrough in the field of generative AI. That's why we are back with another video on how to navigate your career in the field of generative AI. Whether you are a complete beginner or already dabbling in LLMs, today's roadmap will help you stay ahead in this ever evolving field. Hey everyone, my name is Satyajit Patnaik. In the last video we created on generative AI, we have done a deep dive on the roadmap of generative AI and we are back again. Guess what? A lot of things have changed in this field over the last few months and this is a never ending journey. If you have started learning into generative AI, you must keep going into this field because every now and then something new pops up. First, why should you care about generative AI? From creating art and generating code to automating entire workflows, generative AI is transforming industries. Companies everywhere are hiring for AI roles and the demand keeps rising. Let's start at the foundation. To begin with, Python is a non-negotiable thing that you can miss in this journey. Without Python, you can never become a generative AI or a simply a AI engineer. So to get started with, Python plays the most vital role. After Python, you can get started with the understanding on statistics and mathematics. Well, you don't need a PhD. What you need are basic concepts behind statistics and various mathematical concepts. Once you're done and dusted with these topics, jump into your next milestone, which is understanding databases, which could be playing around with SQL and NoSQL databases. The next step is going to be understanding machine learning, deep learning and natural language processing. However, it's not a hard prerequisite for you to get started with generative AI, but if you are following a roadmap to become a generative AI engineer, I will recommend you to add machine learning, deep learning and NLP to your playlist or to your study list because everything that you talk about that you do in generative AI is nothing but deep learning, neural networks and natural language processing. Now jumping into generative AI, assuming that you already have all of this knowledge that I have just talked about, get into the basics of generative AI, try to understand the basics of prompting, prompt techniques, understand what prompt engineering is, then get ahead with Langchain, Langgraph, RAGS and various other topics. Apart from rags, jump into the next big thing, which is fine tuning, which is very, very crucial in generative AI. And when it comes to fine tuning, you need to know about topics like quantization, topics like LoRa, QLoRa, and you also need to know why fine tuning is even needed. If we already have rags, fine tuning is not even needed, right? But there is a confusion with a lot of students when to use RAG, when to use fine tuning. So you need to have a hold on these topics as well. And that's not it. Once you're done with these topics, get ahead with the next topic, which is agentic AI, which is the next big thing in the market. Now, when it comes to agentic AI, what exactly is that? It's nothing but an automation that you are doing in your work process, in your workflows with the help of large language models. Now, a simple example is imagine you're working for an insurance company and you want to automate the uh, manual claims processing thing where the customers are coming in, filling in the claims and there is a system that goes through the documents, goes through the different handbooks and then you approve or reject those insurance claims, right? Can we automate it using Agent AI? Yes, we can. And a lot of things can be done using Agent AI. Apart from agent AI, there is something also called as MCP. Now we also have agent to agent models that Google has recently launched. So many, many things are coming up in the field of generative AI. So it's some field where there is endless learning every the, every now and then there is a new topic to learn. Now, the question is where to get started with learning generative AI? Well, I'll talk about one of my programs that we already have on both the platforms, which is Udemy and Zep Analytics. The reason why I have pitched both these platforms is because of your needs, because somebody 
who has budget constraints who are lim who are having limited budget you can always opt for the udemy option i don't provide support on udemy because if you pay 400 500 on udemy i usually get like 150 180 so it's not possible for me to give that kind of support but if you're enrolling the same program on my platform zep analytics it's 120 hours of program where you have everything starting from python till generative ai everything is covered it's a one-stop solution we also provide 24 x7 chat support mock interviews resume preparation and multiple one-to-one -to -one touch ups which helps your journey and it basically triggers your journey as well and i would also like to tell you that we currently have topics still fine tuning agentic ai and mcp and various other things are in process but i can also assure you that this is one of the programs where i'm never going to stop it's a never-ending program the new topics that are popping up in the generative AI domain will be added to this program with due course of time. So this is something that you can also consider before enrolling. That's all about this particular video. I hope you enjoyed it. In case you want to become a generative AI engineer in 2025, let me know in the comment section. In case you also have any other requirement that you want me to come up with a project idea or any other topics, let me know and I will love to go through the comments and bring a video that will cater your needs. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.